Rebecca's had her hands full lately. I hope she's doing okay in there. Is everyone just assigned to one area by themselves? Kind of sounds like it, right? I bet we have some understaffing going on. I'm not sure how many floors we have here, but that could be quite a bit. Even just one person in charge of cleaning up the entire floor? Oh, feels like a lot. Right, the master key only unlocks the guests' rooms. I'll have to get my keys later. At least I can get into 509 now. No break for me, I guess. Alright. Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> hey, oh. you. Oh, hey, Beth. On break already? Sadly, no. I have an express delivery to make to the sixth floor. Isn't that Jack or Andrew's job? Well, they're both busy, so... What about you? I thought you'd be in 509. I'm heading up now. I just had to grab Linda's master key before I could continue our... investigation. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, this has been quite the day so far, hasn't it? I can't remember the last time work was this interesting. Yeah. That's definitely one way to put it. That's not all, though. Uh, I mean, I... Mm. What should I say? Because if we talk about the graffiti, then immediately the next question or the next thing that we're going to think of is, well, who did it? And then if it goes to Wendy, then I kind of don't want that. Mm. But I think this is probably... Uh, Okay. I was looking for my keys, and I heard someone crying in the bathroom. Well, it's not a day at the Clarington if someone hasn't broken down in tears. Oh dear. Who is it? It's Wendy. She's pretty upset. Oh, any idea what happened? I think Linda got to Jacques's head, and Wendy hit back by writing hypocrite bitch on her door. We said it anyway. <laughs> of course she did. It's been a long time coming. Linda's been treating her like her personal punching bag as of late. Yeah, I don't think Linda's a good person. She just, for some reason, has a soft spot for me. <laughs> Sophie, you just told Beth even though I erased it so that people wouldn't know about it. Now one more person knows. Not that I can't trust Beth, but that's one more person who knows. Mm. I do think Linda's being harsh. Bernard's already on his last nerve today. If he catches wind of more drama between Linda and Wendy, the stress might kill him. Huh. And I can only hope I'll have a front row seat when that happens. I don't know the first thing about running a hotel, but the amount of pressure he must be under, I don't think any good would come from adding to that. Hmm. I guess not. You know, I don't know how you do it, Sophie. Maybe it's because my empathy only goes so far, but I admire that you're able to feel for just about anyone. Ooh. Hmm. Are we gonna engage in some homosexual behavior? I like to put myself in other people's shoes. Especially if they're people I find fascinating. Like you. Wow. Mm. The way you turned that compliment <laughs> right back around at me was masterful. <laughs> Well, this was a lovely chat, but I better see if Eugene is around maintenance. Hopefully he can help me find this thing for our esteemed guest. Yeah, we've both got a lot on our plates today. I can't wait to find out more about our friends H&M. Take care. You too. I kind of got the impression Beth is a little bit... Oh, let's say a little bit longer. Beth, are you still here? Can I still see you? I kind of got the impression she was a little bit older than us, though. Yeah, Linda's not exactly a uh, my door's always open, come on in kind of boss. She gave me the impression that she's very experienced, where I'm, I'm like, first day on the job or something. Beth and I agree that the graffiti left on Linda's door, hypocrite bitch, was most likely Wendy's doing. Hate to say it, but Linda's given her enough cause after all. It doesn't matter who did it, it's gone. We got a job to do. And maybe we shouldn't be so carefree. Seeing as how... 
I don't know, man. There's a gun in the safe and all. It's not allowed in Canada, right? There's a gun in the safe. This guy is an unstable veteran. So I, I don't know about all this. Oh, maybe I should close this door. Yeah, like, <laughs> I forgot to close this door. After snooping through everything. Okay, I, I think we've looked around enough here. <gasps> maybe I should let's turn on the TV again. <laughs> but no, he'll know I'm here, though. Because I cleaned his room. Never mind. But forget about the TV. I was trying to make it look like nobody entered here before, but of course I entered, because I cleaned the room. 505? 50. Oh, I do have 506 next on my list. Should I pop in before checking out 509? To clean? Getting into 509 will be no problem with the master key. Let's get to the bottom of all this. Okay, I have all the towels on me. Ooh, this might be a couple's oh room. Oh boy, someone's been living it up. Great. Okay. Time to do some cleaning. Yet again. Favorite part of the job. Tub stains. Yay. Beautiful. And then the... Whoa. My god. I've got your... Mm, you don't need towels? Oh. <laughs> ha ha. Thanks, I guess. Give me a tip. Leave a tip. If they actually left the tip, I don't think I'd be able to take it. If they just left it in the room. What's the story behind this? One shoe covered in dirt. Just one. Well, it's, they probably want their shoe. Maybe? It's only one. Mm, I don't want people walking up on me. <laughs> don't think we need to get into this safe. Just a pipe in. Um, yeah, it says clean. So we don't have to think about that. Another fan of the gossiper. I never did finish that article from this morning. That feels like so long ago now. Dean knew he had a date with Death, the gossiper, a peek in the lives of the rich and famous. Exclusive interview, Gracie Jones' dirty little ex secrets exposed. See also the untold story behind Frankie and Ava's divorce. All you need to know about the Presley scandal. Is Liz bankrupting Mike? Cosmetics, lipsticks, worried about smudges? Fear not. Raphael boasts a kiss-proof formula, ensuring your enchanting allure lasts from dusk till dawn. We ensure your lips are always camera-ready, snap breathtaking photographs that immortalize your beauty, and be just like the glamorous Hollywood starlets. Give your lips a Hollywood treatment. How expensive... Hey, this is the lipstick that Wendy had, right? Oh, I really hope it wasn't too expensive. Uh... <clears throat> Gotta commence the usual snooping. I'm looking for garbage, that's all. Was this? Did he really just scold us for talking? These Montreal cab drivers, I swear. I know! I thought he'd appreciate us trying to make conversation. Oh, they were writing on the back of this book while they were in the cab. Thank God for good old-fashioned pen and paper, at least. Yeah, it takes me back. At least Sister Gabrielle isn't here to confiscate them anymore. From a church? So, like I was saying, are you ready for your week-long bridal shower, Mrs. Hubert? Stop it, Simone! I'm not Mrs. until we walk down the aisle! And this week is for thinking about anything but that! Oh, it's their bachelorette! That's right! We're making the most of this week before I lose you to the jaws of married life! I would never! I won't be another Andrea, I promise. Leanne! He's gonna kick us out if you keep making me laugh! The Montreal Tourism Association. Blah, 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 my husband. <laughs> the sketches are cute. Wish we could zoom in a little bit. Discover historic and gay, Montreal. Are we are we at the point where we're still using gay to mean happy? I guess so. Especially because the homosexuals are deviants and all. Why are you all leaving the the 
TV on. Turn that off. Pick that up. Hey, if Beth leaves a reception unattended, is that okay? Or maybe we don't have enough people coming in and out for it to matter too much. Mm, I should wait till I have more to report before calling Beth. Wait, where do I place it? Oh, the beds are surprisingly completely okay. They barely used it. In fact, they didn't. Ooh. Oh, dear. It's a bachelorette party. Can't be helped, I guess. Caution, wh where did they steal that sign? <laughs> I, I even took the sign? Maybe they would have wanted the sign. Yeah, this makes sense because they use the room as a party room. So there's nothing in the drawers because they just hung out here and that's it. Oh, okay. Ah, I, they might have wanted that. Maybe. What happened to the other pillow? One more pillow, oh. <laughs> then you're good. You are invited to the Clarington's annual Valentine's Ball! Or maybe they just attended the ball. Who knows? No, it sounded like a bachelorette. You're taking down all the decoration? I feel like they might want to keep that. But it does say clean. It doesn't say throw away. It says clean. They left already, right? Maybe they checked out already. That's why we know. Okay. Yeah, they're just chilling out around here. I think they moved the positions of some of the stuff. Is that the Bible? All these girls were sinning. Not exactly a cherished gift. If you just left it behind like this. This Valentine's Day, I'm on the hunt, and I'm not going home without a prize. Dear my beloved Leanne, much as I would have loved to spend this Valentine's Day with a woman who's about to become my Mrs. Hubert, I'll happily make do with a lifetime of Valentine's Day awaiting us. Enjoy your week in Montreal. I'll be eagerly awaiting your return and the start of our new life together. Love, Gregory. P.S. Don't let Simone rope you into anything crazy. Tell her I need my bride back in one piece. And it was left here. Maybe they just forgot, but it doesn't seem like it. Well... I don't know, maybe some people just don't really care about stuff like those kind of cards, or maybe there's something... Maybe this is not gonna be a happy marriage. Who knows? Oh, well, this seems like... Did I miss anything? There's toilet paper, towels are good, this is clean. Oh, there were some stains left. There, are, there actually were some stains left. There you go. Because the icon disappears if you do it right. Nothing behind the door. Oh. If they checked out already, then I'd probably want to throw that away. It does say throw away, though. I, I don't know how to make that call. Wait, then I want to throw everything away, then, because this stuff... Did they check out? Where's my cart? Where's my cart? I need to check the list on my cart. Yeah, complete. Expect a big mess, so we should be throwing out everything then. Oh wow, maybe I actually have to like, do this according to what this says? Really? Being invisible has always come easy to me. Maybe too easy. <laughs> everything must disappear. <laughs> Makes us sound like magicians. Telling apart the treasure from the trash can be tricky sometimes. Yeah. Right, so okay, before we go into a room, I just sort of cleaned it arbitrarily according to my own senses, but... Well, 506, we should probably take away everything. Maybe even the yo-yo? Whose yo-yo is this? Uh, maybe, maybe the customer will come looking for it later. Okay. Very nice, but it's, it's all going. At least we didn't have to make the bed. Whoa, even the... Can I... Oh, there you go. Huh, maybe we're gonna actually get graded for this, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, it looks pretty good to me, except I feel like the positioning of some of the items are off. 
magazine. That wasn't a hotel magazine, right? And this stuff is... came with a hotel. Okay. We're good. What about 507? Do not disturb. Oh, yes. Well, that's one less room to clean today. I won't complain. That's right. What about 508 then? Complete. I didn't... Do I want to put... Crosses over this? Huh. I do have 508 on my list, but... Disturb I won't. For now. We are on a mission. Looks like plaster for the renovations. Better not play with it. Okay. Room 509 is one of our suites, and Marcella and Hector Cruz have certainly made it feel quite lived in. There is a lot to look through, so I'd better get started. The answers I'm looking for might not be readily apparent, but when in doubt, clean. I'm sure something will come up. How long have they been here? Because you know, sometimes some people stay at hotels for like a month. There's no guarantee that it's a short stay. I'll read about the colleagues when we leave here. I wanted to read about the guests. Looks like someone had quite the shopping spree. More work for poor Rebecca. Hang in there, Reb. Laundry, tuxedo, pair of pants, shirts, tie. Okay. Same day service. Today is February 16. Nothing special. They didn't use it. No combination. No entry. Hmm. Do you want to enter? We could ask, but it's such a big breach of privacy. I feel like someone would get into trouble <laughs> if we started opening every safe. My first step should be to tidy up a bit. Searching a clean room is easier than searching a messy one. Oh, it's the clues. Okay, I see. Do you need towels? I got towels for days. Yeah! Well, that's good, that's good. You don't need toilet paper? Oh. Looks like someone tore that note apart, but I'm missing some pieces. I can't make out what's written. Oh, this is a fancy suite. Look at this tub. It's fancy. Which means even more stains than usual. Very thankfully for me. These are lovely. I wish you'd had more confidence in yourself. Everything crossed out. I still love you as much as I did on the day I met you. I will always remember the first time I saw you in that beautiful blue-red dress on the... It seems like only yesterday when I... Ten years ago, I promised I would always love you and... Today, I vow pledge again, and what I pledged ten years ago... Everything changed the day you came into my life. I hope it'll change again when a new member enters our fam- I hope we can soon expand our family with a- You know how important family is to me. Are they having a child? Or does this person want a child with their spouse? What's that other piece here? I can't take- mm, I can't pick it up. Tablets. Aspirin? M Mo Moodle? It's a certain brand of aspirin. It's one toothbrush. I'm gonna double the sinks here. Felix's toothpaste. A whiter smile at a sensible price. Alright, so it... Nope. No clues coming out of the tap? I did hear a ping just now when we picked up the aspirin. It seemed like that might have been a clue. 
What are y'all doing to the mirrors here? My goodness. Yeah, so that is a clue. Over the- oh! Over the counter drug to relieve menstrual cramps. Oh, there is some commentary here if we look in the... What Sophie thinks about it. Vows renewal attempts. A series of vows written and then crossed out on a sheet of loose leaf. Laundry ticket for Clarenton's laundry service. Cause it got ruined? It could just be a normal cleaning or maybe it's cause it got ruined somehow. They didn't even eat! I'll hold off on throwing this out just yet. The food's practically untouched. Hmm, what were you apologizing for? And were you forgiven? I'm sorry, please forgive me. Is that why they were writing this person? I'm guessing it's the husband. I don't know, it could be the wife. They were writing the vows to... help say how sorry they are, and lots of shopping. Maybe he's getting his tux all cleaned up to... so they can have a nice meal together and all of that. The All-American Fire and Life Insurance. Mr. Hector Cruz, insurance agent. Protect the dream. Whole stack. Yes. Okay. Why do we not have any stations ever? Ah, the layout of this room is slightly different. It's fancier. Expenses, Montreal vacation. Okay, yeah, this is how much money they spent every day. These are probably well-off people then. But what's the relation of all this to why Paul Morgan was stalking them? Yeah, they went to the oratory, just like how I did. Turn object. I can't- well, I can't look at the- I thought that was written text. No, I think it's printed. Hmm. I'm not actually giving anyone new cups, I'm just taking all of them. Is that okay? No one's getting new cups, I'm just deconfiscating all of it. They're tourists. Oh, the expense sheet and then the brochure. Calendar. January. SW. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. This is Mr. Cruz's suitcase, you know for sure. SW. Looks like you had a few appointments with him, Mr. Cruz. Or her. Regional meeting, the fancy bank appointment, fancy guy, businessman, insurance agent. Notary appointment. Montreal. Wedding anniversary, February 11. Don't forget something. Oh, please, guys, you need to stop writing in cursive. 16. I can't really read it anymore. Haircut. Departure. So they started on the vacation on February 10. It's a vacation spanning... Valentine's Day? Oh, because the wedding anniversary is on Valentine's Day. Don't forget vows. February 16, attempt number 12. Rose petals on bed. And then they're going back on the 17. Tomorrow? And the SW. What was SW? What do you think about it, Sophie? Apology, message, mm hmm Hector business cards, expenses, 1958 calendar, 
meeting SW a lot. This person looking for you back in Texas, was he really just a co-worker? Dear son, I cannot believe you decided to renew your vows so far away from the family. Your father and I are very disappointed, and so are your sisters. Montreal, what a strange destination. I would not be surprised if this was another one of your wife's ideas. I met Luciana in town yesterday. She has five children, three boys, two girls, and is pregnant with her six. Juan has just bought them that nice house on the corner of Prado and Ramos. Imagine if you had married her like you were supposed to. You would have had your own family by now. Yesterday, I also drove by your home to get the mail. As I was leaving, I met a man who was looking for you. I think he is one of your colleagues from work, but I am not sure. I told him you were in Montreal and would be back next week. When do you come back exactly? I hope you can be there for your uncle's birthday party on Friday. I will make your favorite cake. Your mother. There's a man looking for... Hector? They have no children. Am I jumping the gun a little bit too much by assuming there may be some sexually deviant behavior going on? No children after being married for 10 years? Wasn't it their 10th anniversary? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. You look like a couple out of a magazine. Yeah. It's their 10th anniversary, and they haven't had kids this whole time. Oh, I could look at it, right? There's something to look at here. No? I can select. But w what do you want me to select? I thought you might want me to select the date, but then as soon as I go back... It's gone. What am I selecting? Maybe it's just a way for me to get a zoom in? I don't see anything to select. Alright. Bible on the ground! But it doesn't look like it turned out well though. Food is uneaten. A uh, little pocket thingy. They're Christian. Someone's been sleeping here. I should leave it as it is. Wait, this room has no bed. Oh, because it's a big enough room that the beds are inside. It's got two rooms. Which makes it even more suspicious then, because someone's been sleeping on the couch, even though there's a bed. You wanna look at this immediately? Mrs. Cruz got her personal information stolen. Is Mr. Morgan behind it? This is from last year, October. Dear Mrs. Cruz, we wish to apologize on behalf of our company for the privacy beach that breach that occurred on the 25th of September. And thank you for calling it to our attention. We are currently investigating the breach and are trying to understand how this individual was able to obtain your personal information. Rest assured that we will put measures in place to make sure the situation does not repeat itself. Your privacy is and will always be one of our top priorities. Who could blame you for seeking help? I do the same in your shoes. What are these numbers? These scribbles don't look random, but I can't figure out what they mean. So they got the owners of Fernie and Weissman to directly address them. They seem like important people. You know? Okay. Maybe I'll find more of those torn paper pieces if I keep cleaning the room. They're sleeping apart on their wedding anniversary vacation. Their marriage probably isn't doing too great. So this was the paper. Hey, be careful though. You know, you're um... I blame you for seeking help. 
I do the same in your shoes. Do the clues disappear if I finish looking? Because it, it still tells me I can keep looking. This was stuck inside the thing, so you should put it back in the thing. Locked. It looks like the code is made up of four letters. Love. Hate. Let me finish looking outside. Didn't look yet. Hmm. I'm not sure how the children are affected by what goes on at a bar on a Friday night. But I'm no lieutenant, so... It's the same rhetoric about how gay people are, I don't know, converting the children or whatever. <laughs> this is horrible. I don't think I'll ever understand what pushes people to go so far as killing. There was a killing on Valentine's Day? Ah, my new home, according to Susanna Nivet. <laughs> Mental hospital. Wouldn't be surprised if everyone's a little bit more on edge today. Bad weather has a way of doing that. Hmm. Usual. Hmm. I should wait till I have more to report before calling Beth. The flowers, the roses have withered. Wait, there's a... Hmm. I thought that case at the bottom might be something. Yeah, the photos are on the ground. This ain't it. Whatever's happening here, it ain't it. Nobody has eaten. Oh, did I did I clean the trash? Oh. I have two of the pieces. Can I put it together? Oh god, what? No, Beth, please. Hello? Uh... Hello? Beth? Is, is, is that you? Fantastic. But were they targeting me? Or were they targeting H&M? Clarington Hotel reception desk? Beth? Sophie? Did you just call me? No, I didn't. Then who called? What do you mean, who called? Someone just called, and they said nothing. All I could hear was static and breathing. Whoa. The creeperama just keeps on going, doesn't it? Uh, hold on. Hey, Archie. Uh, what's up? Give me a second, Sophie. Can you check who phoned? Okay, so turns out Archie here patched a call through to 509 moments ago. Did he recognize the caller's voice? You think... you think it might have been Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Let me ask. Okay, so it was a man's voice, but he can't be sure if it was our creep. Hmm... Did he notice anything else? He says... He says he heard a faint bell in the background. It sounded like the elevator's bell. So he assumed the caller was one of our clients. You didn't see Mr. Morgan come back to the hotel, did you? No. Oh my I gosh. I understand why you're creeped out, but I don't see how he could possibly know you're in 509. I didn't say a word to anyone. I know. I know you didn't. But Beth, remember you went down to the break room earlier. What if you came back during that time? Or maybe he knows a secret way to come back in the hospital. Ah, why do I keep saying hospital? It's hotel. Hotel. <laughs> you didn't leave the reception desk completely un unattended to, right? Archie is there. Can you ask Andrew not to patch any calls here for a while? Huh, trust me, I will. Thanks. I haven't had time to check all of 509 yet, so I better get back to it. Oh, before you go, I have some more info for you. I was going over the details of our little mystery when I remembered something about this morning. What is it? I saw Mrs. Cruz rush out of the hotel, all by her lonesome, not too long after Mr. Morgan knocked over that vase in the lobby. Wait, could Mr. Morgan be the man who was looking for Hector Cruz? 
at his normal house and then he's crazy enough to follow him all the way here to the hotel. Really? Do you know what time it was exactly? I think Mr. Morgan left around 10, so I'm guessing between then and 5 past 10? Hmm. What? I just... I remember hearing a loud noise on the fifth floor right around that time. Like, a, a door slamming really hard. Do you think it was her? Maybe. Did you notice anything weird about her? You mean, other than the fact that she was walking straight into a snowstorm? Yeah. Well, I've only ever seen her with her husband. It seemed unusual that she'd be leaving alone. But now that I think about it, maybe she was sneaking out. Or following Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Hopefully I can make sense of all of this. I'm sure you will. Call me as soon as you find something. Okay. Thanks for the info. I think we're hyping it up in our head, but maybe the truth is not... Maybe it's a bit more mundane. Or maybe I hope it's a bit more mundane. Wedding picture. Mm-hmm, they've been married for 10 years. Rosary. Small leather bag with a rosary hanging out of it. Letter found sticking out of a typewriter case. Oh, that case is a typewriter? A portable typewriter? Cool. Hold up. Wait, how many have I not- Oh, I found so many things here, hold up. Lo and behold, a little bit of cleaning up later and I stumbled upon something curious, a message of some kind, torn up and discarded. I might find the other pieces. Someone left a note apologizing for something. One of the crews is clearly wronged the other, or thinks they did, but I don't know anything more than that. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Mmm, the wife found out that the husband is gay and is having an affair on the side. It's, it's Mr. Morgan. That's my running theory. Sleeping solo, one half of the cruises seem to have made their own sleeping arrangements on the room's couch. Whether that was voluntary or at the demands of the other is unclear. Yeah, this sort of thing seems to imply a breakdown in the emotional relationship, right? It's not, um, mm, you know. I'm on the case. The cruises have some kind of suitcase on their bed, but not the kind I usually see. It's smaller, perfectly square, and can only be opened with a four-letter code. Hundreds of possibilities. Cruise? No, that's too simple, I'm sure. A letter sticking out of the case addressed to Mrs. Cruz and signed by Fernie and Weiss Weissman. Apparently, she suffered a breach of privacy recently. I'm thinking about the lady that Paul Morgan kept writing to, though. How is she related to all this? Hello? The phone rang while I was tidying up room 509. When I picked up, all I could hear was... Breathing. No other response. A quick call to reception cleared some things up, like how we don't know who called. Mm. I asked him to not put any calls to 509 for the time being. I'm jumpy enough, as it is. While we were talking on the phone, Beth remembered seeing Mrs. Cruz leave the hotel alone this morning, right around after Mr. Morgan left. Or he made the mess around the lobby. Was she following him? Yeah, so maybe she's suspecting that that's the guy. Oh, 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 Hector Cruz. We have a face. Or do you use Mr. Morgan's shorthand, H? The other crews and the husband of Marcella, they splurge on a suite, but I know not to assume that's a sign of a happy marriage, especially when someone's made up a couch bed in the living room. The tension in the room is palpable. Hector works in insurance back in Texas. He must have taken some time off for this trip to Montreal. Hector's mother is definitely the pushy type, judging by a letter she sent. It seems the cruises are in town so that they can renew their vows. And from the looks of it, Hector's mother really wants him to hurry up and give her grandchildren. I'm suddenly grateful that mom was never so pushy with me. She also mentions that someone's been looking for Hector. Maybe I'm just being a hammer looking for a nail, but could that have anything to do with Mr. Morgan and his stalking? Marcella Cruz, or the M in Mr. Morgan's journal. One half of a couple staying in one of our suites. There are more than a few hints in their room that this isn't exactly the second honeymoon of her dreams. She's clearly caught up in something. Marcella has a letter from Fernie and Weissman, containing an apology for some kind of security breach. I don't know what that means exactly, but it can't be anything good. My mind immediately went to Mr. Morgan. Has the stalking really gone so far? I feel like I'm so attached to my secret gay affair theory that if it actually turns out that it isn't, I would be more surprised. <laughs> 
Anyway, we, um, didn't finish looking around this room yet. What? You don't want to look in the suitcase? There's a gigantic suitcase here. You don't want to look? Oh. Stuff. It looks like Marcella was staying here. Yeah, you know, one pillow. Stuff. The shade is really striking. Okay, put it back. Put it back. Chloe. Look, but don't ruin it. To read. Young Anne, a game of hide-and-seek, excellent women, the price of salt, angel, something, someone at a distance, in a lonely place, the blank wall, stranger in the night, beast in view, horizontal man, it had to be murder. Murder. What the heck are these? Whoever wrote this is as much a reader as they are a doodler. The receipt that we found in Morgan's room had some doodling on it. 6P03P? Is that a code? Well, she's a reader. But she doesn't read and they were roommates? Poor taste, clearly. Well, this is expensive and jewelry. Don't touch it, man. Am I reading this right? The account's been emptied. Oh my god. Since... Since the end of December. Last December. Does that have to do with a security breach? That's not a security breach, that's... That's plain fraud if she loses all her money because of this. There's hearts on this. What? It's not a breach. Yeah, someone- she had about $5,000 saved up until June? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like now how we get statements every month. They do a new stamp every time you do something on your account. So in December, she took out $200. January, 80. January again, 95. February, 85. And then four days later, took out everything. You don't see someone withdraw $5,000 every day. Just what could have made you empty out your entire bank account? Love. It's love. There is no other thing that makes people crazier <laughs> in this world. These symbols, they look oddly familiar. Do they- uh, yeah, it looks like the same kind of doodles we've been seeing the whole time, but... Do they correspond to some kind of a code? Oh, and look at the back. Well, it's so realistic. They have stains and stuff. And you can see through, back to the front. Huh. We don't care about the jewelry. Don't touch the jewelry. Ah. Ah. There's gotta be some... Yes! They were careful enough to split it to multiple pieces to put it into different garbage cans. But it's all in the same room. Hmm. Alright. Let's start with the corners. If we can. That makes sense to me. Proceed to not do the corners. Like this? Oh, here we go. I'm getting somewhere. How come we don't have the bottom pieces? Is there just no bottom piece? Um... Turn it the right way first so we know what we're looking at. Yeah, I guess there's no bottom. It's... some kind of code. Could I break it? Hmm. 
If you give me enough time, maybe? It certainly looks familiar. Snoop around to find missing symbols. That yarn map Mr. Morgan has on the wall of 505. Weren't there some peculiar doodles? Symbols, maybe. You don't want me to go walk back and look up all the stuff, do you? I should keep an eye out for those symbols. We saw a whole bunch already. You didn't keep track of them? Do I have to find them again? That's one of the symbols. Oh, these symbols match some of the ones on the torn message. Are you serious? Okay, well, let me finish looking around here. There's a bra on the ground. I can't understand why people just leave stuff on the ground. It makes it feel like it's dirtified to me. But people are okay with this. This looks right up Andrew's alley. I wonder if he's read this one. Stranger in the night. She thought she was tracking a killer, but the killer was tracking her instead. Oh, this sounds a lot like me. San Francisco, 1953. Gloria Gray is an aspiring writer who works in a diner by day and writes crime fiction by night. When a series of murders occur across the city, she decides to pursue the killer in the hope of turning her story into a best-selling novel. She meets Hugh, a mysterious young man who offers his help in finding the murderer. But soon, Gloria starts to wonder if he is the killer. Read the story that's on everyone's lips before seeing the major motion picture. 50 cents. Pills provide birth control. Development of a contraceptive pill believed to be the ultimate form of birth control was reported yesterday to a group of journalists. More of these symbols. Just what I was looking for. The pill was tested among 218 women, despite reports of some undesirable effects. Dr. Tenenbaum said the pill shows greater promise for the future. Tenenbaum? Is that a Bioshock reference? Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. The brackets? B and C? So it sounds like, I mean, this newspaper, the pill wasn't readily a thing yet. So this, this wife couldn't have been using her, right? I was trying to think about how they haven't had children for 10 years. Oh. Yeah, make your husband care about you, the Liz Oil thing. So she came on vacation ready, ready to rock and roll, but was her husband? Maybe that's the issue. Okay. I think that might be it. So please tell me you autofilled the paper here. You did. You that did. yarn map Mr. Morgan has on the wall of 505. Weren't there some peculiar doodles? Symbols, maybe. Do we have to go back? Lipstick looks expensive. Notepad titles. Murder. Oh, the murder. I gotta look at it again. Crime novel. Because we already found it in the other room. You want me to go back again? Anything on the newspaper. We might be able to solve it without finding everything. But, I don't know, the way they set it up, we might have to specifically find all the ones that are used in the message at least. Hmm, yeah. I think these match the symbols on the papers I collected. That it? Hopefully. Are we really gonna have to leave and come back? I hate this. Uh... Does that mean that the lady... Because she's been making this code. Hector had nothing to do with it? Okay. I'm so scared someone's gonna come out and try to... Get at me. Somehow. Say no to divorce. You can't get divorced. That's just how it is. Hmm, these letters. 
Lindsay's mother. Here. More of these symbols. Just what I was looking for. Are there more? That's it. They went to Weston's. They were shopping there. Oh, a whole ton here. Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Did you get all of it? Yes, these are part of the same set. I think I can use this. Special occasion? They... Wait, so Morgan doesn't know why they're here. Okay, so maybe they aren't lovers. <laughs> that good enough? We'll know if there are symbols on the thing, if we can go in to select more of it. Uh, occasionally there's just a bunch of stomping around and stuff. Yeah, no surprise Bernard denied the request. Mrs. Beaumont's been here so long, we could probably just put her name on the door at this point. Hold up. Oh no, that's just... Yeah, that's just what we saw before, I guess. But we can zoom in. Is that just for getting that flavor text? <laughs> Who knew Bernard could be nice? <laughs> <laughs> Who knew Bernard could be nice? I guess that's that. Yeah, maybe let's check out what we have. I don't know if we have all of it, though, because there were a lot of symbols. Guess we'll just- oh, oh. Of course. Security, privacy is important. <laughs> I still want to keep my job after all of this, you know? I don't know if it'll be possible. <laughs> Depends on what we do. Okay. Mmm, we certainly don't have everything. Oh, we have to do this ourselves. Okay, so we don't have to find everything. If we can figure it out, that's fine. Two. A. Like that, right? Brackets. Yay, there are no brackets. There are no brackets. What the hell did I find that for? <laughs> Four. I. Oh, this is cool. I love the system here. H. And they made it really convenient for you, too. If we can guess it, then this will be good. The slash might be a vowel. It looks pretty common. Eight. I will. I will. Leave. Leave. Five is O. Tilde? We don't have a tilde. Equal sign is S. Tilde... W? We have a W, don't we? I thought we saw a W before. Do I have to click on every sing single symbol on the sheet to get it? I hope not. Is this enough for me to guess? It might be. P... P is R. It's confusing because sometimes it's letters, sometimes it's symbols, sometimes it's numbers. Room? M? Your room? I think it might be likely. Let's try it. Your room. I will leave... In your... In... In... The... Vent. Next. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. 507. Oh my god. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey Beth, it's me. Hey, so how did the snooping go? Find anything? I did. I found a message written in strange symbols. A kind of secret code. A secret code? 
Well, spill the beans. What did it say? I will leave notes in the vent next to your room. In the vent? Who the hell does that? I don't know, but whoever the message was intended for went through a lot of trouble to hide it. It was torn in a dozen pieces and scattered in three different trash cans. Ah, mm. so the cruises are keeping secrets from each other. Do you think one of them's having an affair? If, mm, affair or blackmail? Ah, seems more fairy to me. But I was angling more towards the man being the one having an affair. But the code seems like it's written by the woman. Well, that's possible. It's quite obvious they're having marital problems. What makes you say that? Hmm. I found an apology note, neatly folded next to a room service tray. I think Mr. Cruz wrote it. Hmm. It doesn't mean he's cheating on her, though. Maybe he forgot their anniversary, or something like that. I know I'm really bad with dates. Is that all you've got? Yeah, but they're sleeping apart. I'm pretty sure the husband was sentenced to sleeping in the living room. I found a pillow and some sheets on the couch. Oh, yeah. Then he's definitely having an affair. Mrs. Cruz found out, so he tried to apologize, but she kicked him out of the bedroom anyway. What do you think? But if she kicked him out of the bedroom, yeah, it makes sense to me. That theory makes sense. But then why is she the one who wrote the code? I left notes for you in the vent. Oh, maybe Mrs. Cruz hired Morgan as a PI. If Mrs. Cruz is having the affair, why would she bring the Liz oil? I think... I, I, mm, mm. Why would, why would Hector be saying sorry? That's probably why Mr. Morgan was stalking them. Yeah, Mrs. Cruz must have hired him to investigate her husband's affair. But why take pictures of me too? Maybe he thinks you're the other woman. Ew, no. What? You don't find Mr. Cruz attractive? <laughs> you're unbelievable. What is your type anyway? Beth. Oh, come on now. You know I like to tease. I, I think I should go have a look at the mm -hmm. vent that's mentioned in the message. Yeah, good idea, Bean. I'm about to go on break, so if you need my help again, just ask Andrew to patch you through to the break room. All right. Enjoy your break. Oh, I will. We didn't tell her who our type was. I really, really like the system they did here. You don't have to find every single symbol if you can just guess it. Fantastic. Yeah, fun enough, but not frustrating. That's a big plus.